The governance of groundwater resources in Transboundary Aquifers project, GRETA, is part of the water diplomacy and governance in key transboundary hotspots program financed by the Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation. The GRETA project aims at building the conditions for the joint management of three transboundary aquifers around the world. GRETA is about 1. Assessment of groundwater resources. Geoelectrical surveys have allowed to redelineate the boundaries of the Ocotepeque Citala aquifer in Central America. In Southern Africa, a numerical model for the Stamprit aquifer is currently being developed. In Central Asia, the Greta project has improved the knowledge of groundwater resources in the region. All this scientific work is crucial to foster cooperation as it provides the baseline for sound policies for the governance and management of these transboundary aquifers. 2. Innovative tools. Greta is applying innovative technologies such as testing satellite observations for groundwater studies and methodologies for the assessment of legal and institutional and gender frameworks. 3. Science and water diplomacy. Greta has taken the lead in offering capacity building programs in water diplomacy and water law. This has allowed strengthening the understanding of the ultimate benefits of joint management of groundwater resources. 4. Cooperation. To talk about cooperation in Greta, who better than the concerned stakeholders? I think the first important thing that we really have to understand is that water, especially the underground water aquifers, do not know any boundary. Cooperation is very important that as member states we work together to find common solutions, to share studies for the sustainable groundwater management. It is very important uh, that uh, the nations that are sharing um, a water resource, especially the groundwater that you do not see, have to cooperate. Uh, they have to cooperate because one very important thing is to ensure peace between nations. Botswana, Namibia and South Africa have started to negotiate the structure of a multi-country cooperation mechanism for the governance and management of the Stamprit Aquifer. This will be the first example of such a mechanism in Southern Africa. The reach of Greta goes beyond the Stamprit Aquifer, as the Southern Africa Development Community, SADC, has recommended that the assessment of transboundary aquifers in the region should follow the same methodology as the one in Greta project. In El Salvador and Honduras, the need to institutionalize a joint mechanism for the management of the Ocotepeque Citala aquifer has been agreed, and this is really promising. In Central Asia, Greta has focused on training young civil servants and decision makers. More news about this success story are coming soon.